I've spent my career growing plants and designing gardens. And today I'm visiting Woolerton Old Hall in Shropshire, one of the finest examples of an English garden anywhere in the country. And what's fascinating for me about gardens is the way that they've perennially reflected changes in fashion, trends and styles of the society of the day. And to get a sense of just how much change has taken place through the decades, let's walk down memory lane, or more specifically, down the garden path. Gardens of the 1950s were still incredibly heavily influenced by the hardship of the wartime years. And as a consequence, allotmenteering was in its heyday. And in addition to the new breed of fruits and veg that we were becoming familiar with, well, there were new products too. Manufacturers bringing concrete into the garden from sturdy paths to rather utilitarian fences. By the psychedelic 60s, there was much less reliance on producing your own fruits and veg in the garden. And that meant we could indulge in the green spaces, helped by the advent of a new breed of bedding plants in all shapes, colours, sizes and textures imaginable on patio terraces made out of crazy paving. There were other revolutions too. Lightweight rotary mowers, which meant that anyone could get out there and maintain garden spaces. By the 1970s, gardeners wanted to re-inject colour into the scheme. And from a plant perspective, that largely meant reaching for plants like this, heathers in all shades of pinks, purples and cerise. And they were very often combined with dwarf golden conifers in island beds. Paving wasn't to be left out. Shades of pinks and yellows were really the order of the day. Madonna, Boy George and Michael Jackson. The 1980s is epitomised by not only the blending of ideals but also of excesses. And horticulture, well, that was no different. The birth of garden centres meant that a new breed of plants, exotic from foreign climes, was suddenly available literally on your doorstep to fill the garden with. And if you were really exotic, you constructed timber pergola to capture that most fleeting of things, the British summer. After the excesses of the 80s, the 90s were a relative period of calm and sophistication, brought about in part because of the use of water in all of its guises, from reflective pools to tumbling water features. And terraces and patios, well, they were swept aside in favour of decking. The noughties really was the decade when the interior stepped outside. It was all about creating the outdoor living space, a series of outdoor rooms with all of the accoutrements that that brought. Barbecues, jacuzzis and chimeneas. And perhaps most frustratingly for gardeners, the horticulture became sidelined in favour of low maintenance, but looky-likey plastic alternatives from box balls and hanging baskets through to artificial turf. There are certain things that research tells us we definitely shouldn't include in our garden. For instance, pet graves, trampolines, and also my chubby little friend here. Not unless you want to visit from the taste police, that is. But what of gardens of the future? What should we be including? Well, how about energy generating paving? flowers that bloom all year round, and even robotic lawnmowers. Include any of those and you'll be right on trend. Recent research conducted by paving manufacturer Bradstone has revealed that while many homeowners are right on trend with their gardening style, following a naturalistic approach of more loose native hedgerows and meadows, prairie planting and grasses, habitats for wildlife and even growing your own fruit and veg, there are a surprising two-thirds of homeowners who admit that their garden style is heavily influenced and perhaps even hindered by previous decades. And I suppose the most important thing to highlight is that if you do feel that your gardening finesse is being bridled by a decade from the past, don't worry, there's a host of things you can do. Design ideas and influences to help you convert your garden into your own little piece of paradise. 
for a wealth of design ideas to help transform your garden and also to find out what people are predicting for a garden of the future, visit the Bradstone website for 60 years of inspiring gardens.